All right, good morning. Happy Friday morning from Placer Cove. Water's come up quite a bit since the last time I was here. Last time I was here, I was about, the launch was about 20 feet out from where it is now. So it's come up quite a ways. Still low, but it's pretty good. It's pretty flat. It's gonna be pretty flat until about nine-ish. So I'm gonna get out there and try and try and find some striper. Tomorrow starts a, a weird schedule. Um, I don't even know how it's gonna work. But I have several shifts coming with uh, a couple small breaks in there. And then December, it's just completely red. So I don't know how I'm gonna get fishing in December, but we'll figure it out. In the uh, OBPA 14 today. So we're gonna go out there and try and find some fish. So stick around, might be good. All right, surprise, surprise. The weather weatherman got it wrong. It's uh, five to 10, it's more like 10 to 20. And uh, we're right on the edge of White Cup, trying to get back to the launch. I think I'm gonna go to Lake Mead, if anywhere. I should've just went there, but I'm pretty sure the oil season's over, but I can still get something controlling this uh, impact slot. Uh, yeah, this, it was kinda choppy at launch which was a whole 15 minutes ago and now it just deteriorated very quickly so i'm going to get out of the water and, uh, like me hopefully more to follow hopefully i don't do one of those uh, two bodies of water and uh, two different skunks it is my friday thing to do usually when i gotta go to two different places we're gonna try and not make that happen so uh i'll come back to lake mead Sun's just coming see it hitting the bridge over there. It's coming up over there. In the Cluster Cove, east of Nelson, Nevada. Alright, we're getting out of the water. Alright y'all, Friday morning, part two, coming at you. Lake Mead. I think they might still be boiling. Because I see a bunch of birds circling over there. Right in front of where Boulder Harbor was. And I just saw some right here. Which makes sense. This is about the time of morning that they heard him into that corner. I don't know if you can see those birds diving, but they're right there. So here we go. I, I got blown off the river at Nelson. That took about 10 minutes. I should have just come right here. I'm going to have... The wind's not supposed to kick up here until about noon. So we're going to get after it again. Here we go. All right, it's November 16th and look at this. They're still boiling, guys. I left Nelson with my big river poles and I came right to Lake Mead and I just hooked one on a swim shed. And he's right there. That is not a bad fish. There he is. Not skunked. There he is. Not, you know, not gigantic, but not horrible. And I'm in six feet of water, and that's kind of where they are. So, but I got to get out a little bit deeper. Try this again. There's another one. I'm going on out here. I just put, I switched from the uh, chartreuse to a regular shad color. I chucked it out and he drilled it. Frisky, not very big. There he is. Little guy. All right, the killer part about this whole thing is, oh, way over there by the tower, and there's my truck. Guess where I'm catching fish? Right here, 16 feet of water. 16 to six feet of water. They're just kind of running up and down the in the shallows here. So 
and I'm just catching fish. One right after another. Little baby one. That one wasn't even boiling. He just bit it. There he is. All right, I had physically gotten myself out of the water. I was standing on the ground, and this happened. So we're, I got back in the kayak, threw it back in the water, and here we go again. I mean, it just happened like that. That's how quickly it happened. There was nothing. I sat there for like a half hour waiting for it to happen, and then it just started happening. But, okay, I misspoke. I said it's November 15th. It's actually November 18th, and they're still boiling. All right, I think the... I think the big fish are done for the day, but he choked that thing. It's just a baby, but he wanted it badly. He's going back. Pretty sure the boils are done. But you know, I could be wrong. I got out of the water. I was standing on the, in the water, getting ready to put the wheels on the kayak and that just flared up right in front of my truck. So I went out here and chased him down a little bit. Didn't get one out of the boil, but I got this little dude right here. I have baits that are bigger than you, mister. All right, I'm out of the water. Past the point of no return. Once I got out of the water, I very seldom go back. But for the last couple hours, this guy and his family have been chasing the shad. All the stripers have been chasing them, but they're just feeding on them up and down this shore. From the marina, Hemingway, down to where Boulder Harbor used to be. Up and down and back and forth. Uh, yeah, I went all the way over there and I came back over here. I saw him, I saw him, the birds diving when I was getting in the water. And then when I got down there, there was nothing there. Then I come back and there's my truck. I caught like 15 fish right here in about eight, eight to 16 feet of water. Six to 16 feet of water, right here. And I mean, you can easily, you can easily reach them from the shore because, I mean, if you got waders on, especially you can walk out there, you know, past your knees and easily get them. But they just keep coming back. I thought those were seagulls, but those are just crows fighting. Yeah, anyways, and the launch update, still, uh, I haven't looked at the, it looks like it's dropping. Uh, but it's still, this one right here is still pretty good and solid. It's a little, a little soft. You know, it's easy to pick where to, where to go. If you see rocks, it's a good, good chance that it's pretty solid. But where, where you don't see the gravel like right here, it's kind of gushy. So pick a good spot and go get them because they're still here. They're still boiling. So I don't know how long it's going to go on for. Uh, and it's supposed to be kind of a windy weekend, but it's not windy right now. It's windy at Nelson, I can tell you that. It's not bad here. And I see birds diving again. But I'm going to try and not look at that because I'm already out of the water. So yeah, they just keep coming back and forth. I think what they're doing is they're going down, going around the island, going across over to the tower and coming back down this shore. That's what I think the pattern of the day is. So, anyways, mash that little dude over there in the kayak, if you would please, pink. And uh, we're closing in on that thousand subscriber giveaway, which is that uh, catch cart, about a $500, $450 cart. So, like, subscribe, give it a share, and I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If I don't post anything before Thanksgiving, which is, you know, kind of unlikely. Uh, that I will. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. I actually think I have it off this year. So I'll be on the water, weather permitting, day after Thanksgiving. So have a great day. Have a great week. Have some happy holidays. I'll see you on the water.